you're just tuning in, on today's episode, we are going to draw a parabola. First, we're drawing the parabola. We're also going to be drawing the locus of that parabola that will be joining in today's video. So please, if you want to learn from this video, click on that subscribe tab below and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. All right. So very fast. Let's get drawing. So in drawing a parabola, the first thing we need to do is to draw a straight line. Let's make a line very long, straight line. Okay. Now we're going to have a straight line. Now we are going to, uh, we'll take the length. Let's take our measurements. Let's take length to be equal to 120 millimeter and then the breadth to be equal to 60 millimeter. Okay. Now back to our drawing. This is our line. So we'll measure 120 millimeter is 120. Are we taking that part? Okay, we call A, B. Now with this length, we construct a square. Now I believe you know how to construct a square, right? So we'll not waste, without wasting much time, without using our compass, we can just use our um, set square. Okay, draw it up. Okay, and then we measure the breadth is given as 60. So we measure 60. I'm taking it. And then we'll join at the point. Okay, so we have done our rectangle length 120, breadth 60 all in millimeters now the next thing for us to do is we are dividing the length into 12 equal parts and dividing the breadth into six equal parts now let's say for other examples that you are being given the length to be let's say um 70 uh, millimeter you are still dividing it into 12 equal parts if the measurement of the breadth changes to be bigger or smaller let's say 40 you are still dividing the breadth into six equal parts that is the um let's say that's a fixed or constant division for this drawing okay so let's take our division okay so we want to divide here into six equal parts so dividing six cm into six equal parts okay, is so one cm each. each this is one 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 so do the same thing for this side Okay, so I've done division for this side and I've numbered it one for five. Now, likewise, this way, we're going to divide this part into 12 parts. Okay, this is 12 equal parts. And here, so do the same thing here, up and down. So let us divide. Okay, so this is 12. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And it's twelve. I'll do the same thing to up. Okay, so I've done the divisions. Now I will number them. Now this this is where I'm numbering it. One, two, three four five okay now we'll skip the center line and start numbering five four three two one i have a reason why nobody likes okay now you can call here a b call here c d and call this part e the center point we can call it e okay now we are joining one so it's parallel line okay the same thing join these two points do it till the last okay so i'm gonna line this is how it looks like now 
always ensure to make sure that your work are very, very neat because neatness is a credible point. Always gonna join this, but this I will not join this part. From the middle points E, center E, I join point one. One to E, okay. And then two to E, two. Two to E. Just keep joining all of them to the center line or the center point. Four to E. And then last with five to E. Okay, now I'm doing the same thing too from this side. D to one, to two. So we're gonna do it. Okay, to now at this point, this is five. very, very important. We want to know how we're gonna get our locus. Okay, we're gonna draw the locus of this parabola. Now, this is how we're gonna do it. The easier, shortest way of doing locus, by right, it is where line one. And line one meets at this point. This is line one. Line one meets at this point. Okay. This is line two and line two meets at this point. Okay. Line three and line three they meet at this point. Can you see it? Line four, line four meets at this point. Line five and line five meets at this point. And then the last one at the pivot. Now let me show you a shorter way of doing this. It's, but this one kind of needs more attention. Now this is B, okay? So you're going vertically opposite. From B, you have this point, right? Opposite, opposite. Can you see it? When the opposite. This is usually work for me, especially when I'm having a diagram that is very, very tiny. Just go opposite itself, looking at how to join the line. Okay, now this is the point. Now with a nice French curve, you join all these points together. Please be careful while joining all these points together, okay? So let me get my French curve and join all the points. So I use this French curve. I mostly use this part, okay? And then I just joined and I use this part for this part. And then I just joined and this is in here. I joined, okay? So this is it. This is our parabola. This is our locus. And this is our parabola. Thank you, guys. Wow, I hope you loved that video. It was very, very educative. Learning how to draw a parabola and learning how to draw a locus of a parabola. Very, very educative. Now, as you can see, my work was neat, accurate, and it was very, very good. I also believe your work should be more better, more neat, and more accurate, and more good if there's any such word like that. Alright, if you need to leave me on YouTube, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I click on the subscribe tab below. And also, don't forget to ring the bell so that you'll be the number one person to get notified when I drop new videos. Thank you guys and see you in the next episode.